Kumusta? Have you ever heard of Kundaman? It's a special kind of song from the Philippines. People call it the soul of Filipino music. It's like a beautiful love letter in song form. Kundaman songs are full of emotion. They tell stories of love, longing, and hope. When you listen to Kundaman, you feel the heart of the Filipino people. Kundaman has been around for a very long time. This traditional Filipino music genre has deep roots in the country's history and culture, resonating with the emotions and experiences of the Filipino people. Imagine the Philippines many years ago, a time when the landscape was untouched by modernity, and life moved at a slower, more deliberate pace. Even before cars and phones, people relied on simple means of communication and expression, and music played a central role in their daily lives. Some say Kundaman started during the Spanish colonial era. This period was marked by significant cultural exchange and influence, as well as a struggle for identity and freedom. Filipinos used music to express their feelings. Kundaman became a powerful medium for conveying deep emotions, from love and longing to hope and resistance. During that time, Filipinos couldn't always speak their minds freely. The Spanish colonial rule imposed restrictions on many aspects of life, including freedom of speech. So they used Kundaman to share their hopes and dreams for freedom. The lyrics often carried subtle messages of resistance and a longing for independence, wrapped in the guise of love songs. Over the years, Kundaman evolved. It adapted to the changing times and incorporated new influences, yet it always retained its core essence. But it always stayed true to its roots, expressing the Filipino spirit. Today, Kundaman continues to be a cherished part of Filipino culture, celebrated in festivals and performed by artists who keep the tradition alive. It serves as a reminder of the resilience and creativity of the Filipino people and their enduring love for music. In modern times, Kundiman has found a new audience among younger generations. Many young Filipinos are rediscovering this beautiful genre, learning to play traditional instruments and perform the songs that have been passed down through generations. Families often play a crucial role in this cultural transmission, with elders teaching the younger members the songs and stories behind them. This intergenerational sharing helps keep the spirit of Kundaman alive and ensures that it remains a vibrant part of Filipino heritage. Community gatherings and cultural events also play a significant role in preserving and promoting Kundaman. These events provide a platform for performers to showcase their talents and for audiences to connect with their cultural roots. The instruments used in Kundaman, such as the guitar and the banduria, are often handcrafted with great care and skill. These instruments produce the distinctive sounds that are characteristic of Kundaman music, adding to its unique charm and emotional depth. Today, many Filipino artists are also exploring new ways to blend Kundaman with contemporary music styles. This fusion creates a fresh and innovative sound that appeals to a broader audience while still honoring the traditional roots of the genre. Whether performed in a traditional setting or a modern venue, Kundaman continues to captivate audiences with its heartfelt melodies and poignant lyrics. It remains a testament to the enduring power of music to convey the deepest emotions and connect people across generations. The history of Kundaman is a rich tapestry of cultural heritage, emotional expression, and artistic evolution. It is a story of a people who have used music to navigate the complexities of their history and to celebrate their identity. As we look to the future, Kundaman will undoubtedly continue to inspire and resonate with new generations, keeping the spirit of the Filipino people alive and thriving. What makes Kundaman so special? It's all about the feelings. Kundaman songs often talk about love, but not just any kind of love. It's a deep and passionate love. They sing about longing for someone special. They also sing about the beauty of the Philippines. The lyrics are poetic and heartfelt. When you hear them, you can feel the emotions in every word. Kundaman has a unique sound. It's both sweet and melancholic. The melody is often slow and flowing like a gentle breeze. It tugs at your heartstrings. Traditional instruments like the banduria and the rondala are often used. These instruments create a classic Filipino sound. The combination of heartfelt lyrics, beautiful melodies, and traditional instruments makes Kundaman truly special. Section 5. Masters of Kundaman, Legendary Composers and Singers Kundaman, a genre deeply rooted in Filipino culture, has been a vessel for expressing the nation's soul. It is a traditional Filipino love song that has evolved over the years, capturing the hearts of many. Many talented artists have made Kundaman their own, they have taken this traditional form and infused it with their unique styles, creating a rich tapestry of sound that resonates with audiences both young and old. These artists have not only preserved the essence of Kundaman, but have also ensured its relevance in contemporary times. These artists poured their hearts into their music. Each note, each lyric, is a testament to their dedication and passion. The emotional depth of their performances often leaves audiences spellbound, creating an intimate connection between the singer and the listener. This emotional engagement is what makes Kundiman so special and enduring. Francisco Santiago is known as the father of Kundiman. His contributions to this genre are immeasurable. Born in 1889, Santiago's work laid the foundation for what Kundiman would become. His compositions are characterized by their lyrical beauty and emotional depth, capturing the essence of Filipino sentiment. He wrote famous songs like Anak Dalita and Madaling Aral. 
These songs have become timeless classics, often performed at cultural events and celebrations. Anak Dalita speaks of the struggles and hopes of the Filipino people, while Madeline Ara captures the beauty of a new dawn. Santiago's music continues to inspire and move people to this day. Nicanor Abelardo is another great composer. Born in 1893, Abelardo's work further enriched the Kundaman tradition. His compositions are known for their intricate melodies and profound emotional impact. Abelardo's music often explores themes of love, longing, and patriotism, resonating deeply with listeners. His works like Nasan Ka Irag and Bituing Marikit are still popular today. Nasan Ka Irag is a poignant expression of longing and loss, while Bituing Marikit celebrates the beauty and grace of a beloved. These songs have been interpreted by countless artists over the years, each bringing their own unique touch to these timeless pieces. These composers and singers helped shape Kundaman into what it is today. Their dedication and creativity have ensured that this beautiful genre continues to thrive. Through their music, they have preserved a vital part of Filipino cultural heritage, passing it down to future generations. Kundaman remains a powerful expression of Filipino identity, a testament to the enduring power of music to touch the human soul. Section 6. Kundaman in the Spotlight. Popular Songs Through the Years. Over the years, many Kundaman songs have become classics. These songs, deeply rooted in Filipino culture, have transcended generations. They are not just melodies, but are woven into the very fabric of Filipino identity. People still listen to them and love them today. The timeless nature of these songs speaks to their universal themes of love, patriotism, and longing. They evoke a sense of nostalgia and pride, reminding listeners of their heritage and the rich history of the Philippines. Bayan Ko is a powerful song about love for country. It became an anthem during the People Power Revolution. This song, with its poignant lyrics and stirring melody, captured the hearts of millions. It was more than just a song, it was a rallying cry for freedom and democracy. During the tumultuous times of the revolution, Bai and Co united people from all walks of life. It was sung in the streets, in homes, and in gatherings, symbolizing the collective hope and resilience of the Filipino people. The song's impact was so profound that it continues to be a symbol of national pride and unity. Hindi Kita Malamat is another favorite. It's a beautiful song about a love that will never be forgotten. The lyrics speak of enduring love and the memories that linger long after the moments have passed. This song resonates with many because it captures the essence of true love and the pain of separation. Whether it's played at weddings, anniversaries, or even during quiet moments of reflection, Hindi Kita Malamat has a way of touching the soul. Its melody and words remind listeners of the beauty and fragility of love, making it a timeless piece in the Kundaman repertoire. These songs and many others continue to touch the hearts of Filipinos everywhere. They are more than just music. They are a testament to the Filipino spirit and its enduring love for culture and tradition. In every note and lyric, there is a story, a memory, and a piece of history. As new generations discover these songs, they find a connection to their roots and a deeper understanding of what it means to be Filipino. The legacy of Kundaman is a living, breathing part of the Philippines, and its songs will continue to inspire and bring joy to people for many years to come. Section 7. More than just music, Kundaman's cultural significance. Kundaman is more than just music. It's a part of Filipino identity. It reflects our values, our history, and our emotions. It helps us understand ourselves better. Kundaman brings Filipinos together. Whether we're happy or sad, we find comfort in these songs. It's a reminder of our heritage and the things that are important to us. Section 8 Kundaman Today Keeping the Tradition Alive Today, Kundaman is still very much alive. New artists are adding their own style to this classic genre. Schools and organizations are working hard to preserve Kundaman. They teach young people about its history and significance. Concerts and festivals celebrate Kundaman. It's a way to share this beautiful music with the world. Section 9. Experiencing the Magic of Kundaman You don't have to be Filipino to appreciate Kundaman. Its beauty is universal. Listen to recordings of classic Kundaman songs. Pay attention to the lyrics and the emotions they convey. Watch live performances. You'll be mesmerized by the singer's passion and the musician's skill. Let the music transport you to a different time and place. Section 10. A Timeless Treasure. Kundaman's Legacy for Generations to Come. Kundaman is a precious gift passed down through generations. It's a reminder of our past and a source of inspiration for the future. As long as Filipinos exist, Kundaman will continue to touch our hearts and souls. Let's cherish this beautiful tradition and share it with the world. Mabuhay ang Kundiman.